We're hunky dory. Hello and welcome back to Chatting with Cherubs. It's been a while. It's episode 12. I'm Morgan Reese and here I am with the amazing Josh Jones. Oh, we're back. Yeah. Yeah, that's the energy we want at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, please. Does me I look all right? I'm looking on the camera. No, you look wicked. I think it looks shy. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Josh, where have we been? We've been in Edinburgh Fringe Festival for the entire month. <laughs> so I'm, happy about I'm it. so sorry we've not done a podcast for a month. Been getting quite a lot of angry messages. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. That is on me as well. I think we did, in fairness, we did do one. But we have broke it. We broke the laptop. So it's bad. <laughs> it was just pure filth. Just, yeah. It was just absolute filth. It riddled the laptop. No, it was just very much us complaining about backstage stuff. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's um yeah right. I'm so glad to be home and not have the um sort of like ooh, like the, I was sometimes I was like, I'm gonna fucking smash something <laughs> um, like you What's get a lot name? of like yeah energy don't yeah yeah what was the first thing you did when you got back um went home dropped my stuff off douched <laughs> went straight to the fellas and had a good seeing team <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> What did you do? I had a big curry. Oh, did you? So, you know, we both had sore bums. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what curry did you have? Um, I wanted to go pre pre pretty standard chicken tikka masala, always garlic naan, always chicken tikka as a starter as well, uh, pilau, and I think you just wanted the curry, didn't you? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. And my go to is um, palak paneer. That's palak paneer. It's like paneer, do you know, the cheese that doesn't melt. <gasps> Yeah. It's so good. Halloumi esque. Yeah, but it's nicer though. And it's like a spinachy <laughs> cream curry. What curry do you have, Phoebe? Uh, paneer tikka masala. Yeah, oh, paneer. Or a Rogan Josh. Yeah. Ooh. I cannot hear that curry without thinking of Joe Rogan. Yeah. Only because it's so close to it. I thought it was like a curry he had made <laughs> for a little while. I just went, that, is, that sounds the worst. <laughs> What's the Josh? when it's like because i know it's rogan josh what is it the um I ju they just mince up joshes yeah. i think <laughs> local joshes in the area yeah. i think i think that's how you make a rogan josh yeah. <laughs> i am um, um right let's crack on <laughs> it's weird well, they, doing a podcast when you've not done one for ages yeah all this all, all this rubbish foreplay at the start yeah, before we get off, the meat of it. just get into it no one cares about your shit curries no that's what i do didn't you go you went on a date on your first night, though. Oh. Yeah. I... Is that a seat? Well, we're not talking about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, so I made up the curry. <laughs> oh, I knew you was lying. <laughs> Never mind. We won't talk we, about it. We can it. talk about but, it. We well, can talk about we go. it. We're talking about it. On my first it. day back from Edinburgh, I just went straight to London. I went on a day date. And it was it was brilliant. It was wonderful. We, yeah. we went all we went massive pub crawl all down the South Bank on the on the on the River Thames. Yeah, uh, did Stand a pub crawl it. around there. Went to a pub for food. Went on a pub crawl on the other side of the river on the way back. Then we went out in the, uh, Soho for a bit. Oh great! And you show me a picture. He's got great teeth. Yeah, he's got good teeth. Fair play. Fair, yeah. I mean, like that, bizarrely, that was the first thing I looked at when the <laughs> you went. When usually you go, oh, I wonder where they've got a nice body, where they've got a nice smile, oh, where they've yeah, got nice like, piercing teeth. eyes. I just, I just want to look at your insizes. Yeah. I just want, to, <laughs> want, a good old, want a good old stalk of those molars. Did you get one of those mirrors that they have at the dentist on the stick? <laughs> yeah. I was pur I was purposely really boring, so he'd yawn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I could, I could get a good old gulp at him. But yeah, that's uh, for your first day back from a month of working, going on a date, that is commitment to the dick. <laughs> yeah, I had to put off my. I had to, it was the same day as not in car, not in not in Hill Carnival, which oh, I yeah. didn't realize. My lord, it's a busy old day. <laughs> it was a busy old day because I had to drop all my stuff off at a storage sort of thing, and it is. And it was just me and everyone that was there for Notting Hill Carnival. Oh, so did you? Did you go? Did you not go back to Bristol? I didn't go back to Bristol. Oh my god! So you dropped your suitcases off? I, no, I was. So I, I, well, yeah, I dropped my suitcases off. And it was just me and everyone dressed up for non Hill Carnival. I'm there in my tracky bottoms and a t-shirt. Yeah. And everyone, everyone there was just there looking so spectacular, you know. <laughs> oh, fabulous. I've, I never really knew how big Nottingham, Notting Hill Carnival is. 
It's a big, it's a big old day, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big old day. <laughs> two, is it two days? It's a full weekend. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think there's two days. I think one's a bit more adult than the other. So I'm told. Is that? Is that? Like, are you a Londoner? Mm, just outside of London. Just is that, is that? Is that like those two days and one's a bit more adult than the other? I don't know. I think, uh, that's I think what... he means like tits. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you mean? No, well, Kima Bob says she was going to the second day and she said it was a bit more, supposed to be a bit more adult. And I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe she's going to like a little sub Nine Kill Carnival. Yeah. Sort of like the adult <laughs> alley. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... Oh uh, yeah, so Edinburgh, we've come back from Edinburgh. I should say, because he's not going to bring it up, there are some major awards in Edinburgh. Yes. And Josh has only gone and been nominated for Best Newcomer. So that's fun. That Yay! was fun. And we went to the awards and you came. That I was, was fun. Um, it was so awkward, though, because it's like, oh, you've won an award. And then the punishment... It felt more of a punishment. Is the next day we had to do a show at eleven o'clock in the morning for Radio <laughs> Four. I'm like, this is awful. And they're like, it's going to be all over Dave's social media. So they're going to put it on the TikTok. And eleven o'clock in the gig morning, eleven o'clock in the morning <laughs> gig in front of loads of posh old people, and then that's going to be plastered over social media for everyone to see. I'm like, fucking hell. Um, so that was good. Yeah, I mean, there's a clip of you dancing with the award. And oh, yeah, there is. There is. And may I just say, I've never seen you move so ungracefully before. Because yeah, it, <laughs> it was at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, just um, holding the award, doing yeah, zigzags. <laughs> it was so fun. But the, yeah, and then on the award day, we had to do like a TikTok live interview and uni lad. And it was like, the last thing I want to be is on fucking uni lad, getting called a faggot every second. Shit, me. It's not really the crowd I'm going for. Ladbible.com, let's have it. Yeah, it was bizarre that that was the two partners. It was yeah. TikTok. Dave and Lad Bible. Yeah, well, Dave are the award people. Oh, absolutely. But I we love I'm, Dave. We love we love Dave. Big old Dave. Yeah, they make some tally that book us. So we love yeah, Dave. We, we love Dave. Yeah. Loved, oh, it was funny, though, at the award ceremony. Uh, I was with uh, Jordan Brooks, and this lady comes up to me, and she goes, Hey, hey, Jordan, how are you doing? And, she went, and Jordan went, Hey, I nice to meet you. This is Morgan, by the way. She introduced herself. She said, Hey, I'm Elizabeth. Um, I don't think we've met before. I'm on the panel. Yeah. I went, yeah, we haven't met before. <laughs> 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 it's funny because one of the panel one of the judges was like saying to me like don't you think it's amazing how many working class people we've got this year and i'm like i'm not giving you a fucking chufty badge for letting me in the room you dickhead <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, yeah 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 there was so it was it, it was, was a i'm glad i got nominated but it was really weird how everyone was like look at all these working class people are like sh like pouncing us around i'm like Oh, fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Um, I won a, a big up show. Was it Sean Davis? Sean Davis. Sean Davis won the panel prize for best in class, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I, I I think we but when she went up to get the award, it was like, oh, how is this going to go? And absolutely knocked out the Yeah, car. it was the best speech I've ever seen. I felt like I was going to glass someone. I was so, like, <laughs> empowered. I was like, let's fucking burn the building, Sean. <laughs> Sharpening your chimney sweep. Yeah, yeah, it was really good, actually. Um, but no, getting nominated was fun. It was fun. Because it was and fun. And then we had a good celebration on the Friday night. We all got shit faced. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah, it was yeah. wicked. I, I, I remember seeing it and just, I remember going, Josh! Yeah, yeah I was. Text you straight away. Yeah, and I, I only found out about 20 minutes before everyone else. Oh, really? They left Maybe in that about short half an hour, yeah. Oh, I would have called everyone. I, th I think I tried to ring you. Oh, really? Yeah. My <laughs> agent was like, don't ring anyone. I was like, okay. And he was like, Josh, don't do it. And I was like, yeah, I won't. <laughs> yes, I did. Of course I fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you annoy it for a big award. I went to see the show. The show was really fun. Yeah, it's just a f funny show. You had a stag to win when I went. <laughs> yeah, pretty standard. I had some proper club like club things <gasps> can i say right so the venues at edinburgh fringe are really small aren't they so yeah. like mine was only 50 seater and you can see everyone uh -huh, uh -huh. one day there was like on the last week that's when all the tv producers come so my agent was like you've got quite a lot of industry and so that makes it quite awkward anyway because it's like they're not big laughers and yeah. whatever and then my brother was there with some of his workmates and then to make it even weirder a one night stand from seven years ago 
<laughs> turned up. <laughs> and then I, because um, I can't keep my fucking mouth shut, I told one of the, te- I was speaking to one of the tele producers before the gig. Yeah. And then that one night stand walked past and I said to the TV producer, I was like, I'm sure I shagged that guy like <laughs> seven years ago. <laughs> and then the tele producer said that afterwards, he told me that during the show, he sat next to the one night stand from years ago. And the new guy that he came with was just clinging to him the whole <laughs> show. <laughs> Which so I fun. thought was so funny. What do you think was going to happen? You just yeah, just going to go and suck his dick in front of, <laughs> in front of my brother and all these telly producers. Yeah, I, I think I recognize you. Let's see if I recognize the taste. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, Margaret. <laughs> but um, no, it was definitely him. Um... That's but, funny. Yeah. Sure. Why would you go? Why would you go? There was another guy who I went <laughs> on a on a date with, but didn't do anything. And then the next day, I was walking down the street, and he was like, "Hi, Josh," and he, I was with my new fella, oh. who's, who's gorgeous and stunning. Is is your boyfriend your guy that you are dating? I think you can call him that now. Yeah. I think I don't know. I think so. <laughs> We're not allowed to shag any other people. It's been like four months now. And it's exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. He, tra- he went to a different country to see you. Yeah, he came to the fringe for, um, not for the month, for four days. That made it so much better. It was really, he's really nice and really cute and very charming. It was so funny seeing, I've never seen him excited or giddy. Yeah. Until we were in uh, that industry bar. Oh, with Bianca Del Rio came in. <laughs> yeah. He went to get a photo of her because she was sat at the table we were sat at because she knew some of the people we was with. So we were sat across and, and he went to get his phone out and I just went, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just said no. We're not doing that. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, um, he did get really excited about that because he got to ask her what what, what she wants to drink. I remember yeah. that. It, there was no famous com- There was loads of famous comedians in the room, and he didn't have a clue who one of them, like any of them, was. <laughs> but when it was um, Bianca Del Rio, I was like, <gasps> but to be fair, I saw do you know Jinx Mansoo. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I saw her in the street um, at Edinburgh and was like. <gasps> Yeah, that is really cool. It is a bit bizarre. I think it's a great, good exercise in gratitude, isn't it? Sometimes when you find yourself in a space in Edinburgh, it only happens in Edinburgh where just worlds collide, which you usually wouldn't cross over. Yeah. Like I remember one night. This is a thousand percent name droppy, but it's just saying about outside of this space, how would this ever have become possible? It was me, Jade, I think Clara Ampho, and Self Esteem. And you just go, how is this a thing? Yeah. How is it? 99.99% of my time, it's me, my housemate, <laughs> and the person that serves me coffee across the road. Yeah. You just go, it is weird. When Bianca Del Rio was in the room, so was Al Murray. And I felt <laughs> like, I just thought that would definitely be <laughs> yeah. in the same room. Because <laughs> oh, I want to say, for, for people that have just done a month of Edinburgh, I think we we held up all right. Yeah, but I, well, I, I did all right. I. I, the first week was the only time I got a bit like, <sighs> and I read some of my reviews and then I was like, I'm not going to do it. Um, and they were good. Um, but then I got sent all my reviews yesterday and I read them all yesterday. And they were all good, but the three stars, all they said was it was a bit too rude. Yeah. I'm uh-huh. like, oh, he's really good at his job, but like, I would spent five minutes talking about bumming. <laughs> so when you've got like <laughs> someone from like the fucking Guardian, they're not going to want that either. But if they've said that you're good at your job, surely should they be, should just they say... They all read like fours, so they should just give you a four. Yeah, they should rate you a four and be like, it wasn't my taste, but their taste is... Yeah. This is the thing about reviewers. Yeah. I did a whole bit about this at uni. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, what about was reviewers, because it's like, who are they? What is their opinion? Who can yeah. afford to go to all of that? Who can get into those positions? Yeah, and when you see them, they are literally the poshest, mm. oldest people. And I'm just like, well, what, you're not me demographic. So when I'm talking about deep throat, it, it yeah. ain't going to be for you. <laughs> yeah. Or the opposite of old, old people, it is students. Yeah. It's, it's mm. literally journalistic. I remember once I was in the courtyard and uh, with, with, with Lily Phillips' mm. boyfriend. Wicked guy. He is. Yeah, Thomas. Tom is wicked. Thomas. And uh, we, anyway, we were drinking in the courtyard. This older chap and this uh, very young girl go, can, I, can, can we sit on the opposite side? Went, yeah, yeah, sure. Ended up chatting to him, having a way of a time with the dad. The girl, she had a notepad and she was writing in a big note. It was a big glittery book. It was a big glittery pen, you know, with the big old sparkles on the top of it, a bottom of it sort of thing. 
And we're just talking to the dad, and after a while, we just go, oh, sorry, if nobody want me asking, what are you writing there? Yeah. She goes, oh, I'm writing my reviews. I'm a reviewer. Bloody hell. How old was she? She was 20. Oh, okay. Fuck off. She was... <laughs> it was you should like, just have was... reviewers who were um, stand-up comedians or, or like, mm. ex-stand-up comics. Yeah, oh, they'd, be, they'd be too bitter. <laughs> yeah. But I, um, most of my reviews were fours. Yeah. Um, so I was buzzing with that. But yeah, the the freeze that I got, I read them and I was like, they all read really well. They just was like, talks a lot about anal. <laughs> you know, well, talk about yeah. what you know yeah. and I know how to bum. And you've seen it. I think it's the best anal routine. Well, you've got an anal routine. But <laughs> it's such a different, it's about how straight people can't do anal. Yeah. And I teach them how to do it. So it's, it's really funny. It's an educational <laughs> yeah. about straight people being bad at anal. So if anything, like, they should be you're the dirty one. <laughs> you, you make that you really don't good. know how to bum properly. You should be yeah. doing tours of schools for them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. PGC yeah. Josh Jones. Now there's no more <laughs> section 28. Let's teach kids about anal. <laughs> well, that's true of the fact that sex education. Sex education is all about uh, reproduction, isn't it? And how yeah. to put on a condom. And reproduction is not 99.9999% of sex. It yeah. is pleasure. You're not taught to pleasure. You just have to... No one teaches you that. Well, I, yeah, but so... I wouldn't even teach pleasure. I would just say, if you're going to bum, do fiber pills and get a douche. Yeah. And then you're not going to shit on anything. Well, don't say that, man. Don't book you if you keep on distilling into that. Well, I've got jokes <laughs> as well. I'll, be, I'll go into more detail. This yeah. is my summary that I'll send to the <laughs> primary school head teachers. This is me opening paragraph. <laughs> Douche fiber pills. Let's have it. Um, Bucky, about, here's one I made earlier. Has there been an episode that I've not mentioned, Anal? Um... No. <laughs> I think next episode, I'm not going to bring it up. Okay, cool. No no, no anal. Okay. Oh, well, if you do bring up anal, what's the forfeit? Oh, I'm going to have to get bummed on, <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast. Do no, I a, think... Do you have I a think... Patreon? Not no, yet. No, we don't. Not yet. No, maybe one day. Could have put it on that. On we could. Territory. Me doing I've anal. Got, I've got a forfeit for you. People keep asking. Sorry, one sec. People keep... <laughs> People who listen to this and just on my Instagram are really intrigued to find out what the person I'm dating looks like. They're like, oh, post a photo. I'm like, no, like he's got a normal job, so I'm not going to do that. But they're like, what does he look like? What does he look like? Oh, People really? are so intrigued, which I think is crazy. Like, why are you bothered? <laughs> we should put a fake photo out there. I'm going to just do loads of like see ones with him. So just like me <laughs> and him. And like, he's like that. <laughs> but he is fit. He is fit. He's really fit. Yeah. Uh, but I've got a forfeit for you. Yeah. If you mention anal in the next episode, you have to top. Oh, I can top. Oh, there you go. I just don't with him, really, because he's not really into it. But he did. we've spoke about it this morning. <laughs> 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 so next week, I'll be coming in a little bit more deeper voice. <laughs> <laughs> I would have experienced some stuff coming in, coming in like, like I've got PTSD, like I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you describe? What is top energy, though? Um... I don't know. I don't think there is top energy, I, is it? Because I'm verse, really. I can top. And they call, what do they call um, a feminine top? A blouse. <laughs> do they really? Yeah. So, so I've been called a blouse before. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love topping. I love eating ass. You love know, one? Eating ass. It is fun. Yeah. That is fun. So, it's a big part of it. <laughs> it is a massive part of it. Well, it depends. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's a small part of it. Yeah. But, you know, every, every, everyone's body's different. Yeah. But I only discovered the word side. You know, you, have, you can be a top and a bottom and a side. What's a side? You fuck the belly button. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> what is a side? A side is someone that doesn't do penetrative sex. Oh, just foreplay. Just foreplay. Oh, I'm a side half the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I, I don't I, bottom I, every time because it's like if I've got enough time to douche and everything. Yeah. I didn't bottom yesterday. No? No, I did on Monday. He gets it at least once a week or twice. Oh. But then if not, we still, you know, we do a lot of siding. <laughs> Siding's nice, though. I'm to yeah. I totally get siding, but no, yeah. ever so often you got to go, whoa, can we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, it's easier for you because you don't 
Uh, Morgan's very selfish and he'll never bottom. I'm never. really self. Ne never ever ever. I've, never uh, ever. I've never ever. I've tried. You must have had a finger. I've had a finger. I've bought toys and tried it. I did try it once. It just did wasn't for me. Um, but yeah, other than that, <laughs> I don't know. just imagine you going, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> if I sack, oh, oh yeah, I was screaming ho 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 or yeah, vibing someone. That'd be so funny. Does sound like me. <laughs> Chatting with Cherus. Um, We're talking about loud sex. I won't, oh, no, not the mic. Um, can't mention who it is. I, is this the one I already know? You know the podcast oh, don't okay. know. I lived. Uh, I lived with. Uh, three other comics. I wasn't even comic. talking about this story. Oh, no, we can't talk about oh, that story. Oh, we can't talk about that one. No, uh, no. <laughs> we'll tell you after. <laughs> we'll tell you after, yeah. Um, where's I going with this? Oh, yeah, so my housemate in Edinburgh, he's the meekish... Is it meekish? In a very, very meek. quiet... He's a meek. very pleasant, meek. nice boy. Yes. Uh, but that boy fucks like a stallion. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Like, wow, my lord! His bathroom neighbor, uh, his bathroom, his bedroom neighbors, the bathroom who share a wall, and they're going at it like seven o'clock in the morning. To the point, I I start work at eight, so I'm, I'm for the whole month I've been having a shit with my headphones in. <laughs> Just, so, <laughs> it's so funny as well. It sounds really mean, but it don't look like he's got it in him. Oh, I don't think it's in it. I don't think it is in it. I think it's out all over the room by the sounds I of it. I think like, because they've only just been shagging a couple of weeks. Yeah. And I think after that, when people are really like, ah! like really going for it, I'm like, right, it's fucking rain it in Meadow Street. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's like people, a lot of people over act it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I totally get it. It's so loud. You feel present. Yeah. It, it, you, feel, you feel involved so much. Yeah. Oh. And like, and you start like flushing really loudly so they know that you're there, or like banging things. It is awful though, like shag shagging with housemates. It is like, because when he when he came up to the fringe, I've I, we started and then I realised, oh my god, because I keep my door on the latch, and I was like, I don't think my door's shut properly. And then I was like, oh no, I had to jump off. Yeah, yours is not too bad because your room was the furthest away from everyone. Yeah. Well, because on night one, you and me had to share a bed. Oh, yeah, Morgan stayed in me bed. <laughs> that was cute. We watched Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We watched Twilight in bed together. Yeah. Spoke about our ex expectations, our fears, hopes, boundaries for the for the month. For the fringe, yeah. yeah we watched Twilight, and I, I think that wasn't the first time you'd seen it recently. No, I watch it at least once a month. Is that weird? <laughs> People keep saying that's weird. That's, that is weird. But I, no, but it's a lot of my back. Do you ever watch something that you've seen so much that you can put on, and it's in the background so you can clean? Yeah. It's like when people clean with like podcasts and do it with films that I just know. And then when it's my favorite bits, I'm like, <laughs> but, so I don't watch the same one every month. I okay, watch at least fine. one of them a month. Oh, okay, that's a little bit. That's better. That's better. But I do watch the last one at least five times a year. <laughs> Do you really? Oh my God, I think it's the most underrated battle scene out of any film I've ever seen. There's a full <laughs> big battle with all the vampires and some of them have special powers. It's like Lord of the Rings slash Harry Potter. It's fucking crazy shit. <laughs> I love it so much. Have you never seen the last one? I maybe, oh, I don't know. Morgan, it's so good. There's a full battle with <laughs> wo wolves and everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Chatting with chairs. Um, oh, we got oh, five, five minutes. minutes left. I'll tell you about my stool. <laughs> As in the chair. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this is how, this when you're in the Edinburgh Fringe, everything that's not a big deal seems like a big deal. Mm -hmm. Like when I was ringing me fellow, I said to him, I feel like, because I've seen too many bad too many bad girls episodes, I feel like I'm in a women's prison and I'm like, got me one phone call and I'm telling me <laughs> husband all the drama that's going down on me ward. And it's like, it's meaningless because 
it's just such small drama. But because yeah. you're in that bubble, it means loads. So our venue wouldn't let us have a stool. So I said, right, I'm going to go get my own stool. Um, I, t- I don't know. You pay, give them a couple of grand. You ask for a stool. They say no. No. Um, <laughs> so, so I said, right, I'll get my own stool. And they said, can other people in it use it? And I said, yeah, I'm not bothered. It's a stool. Like all the other comics can use it. And then it was really hot. So they brought some fans in because the people were melting in the rooms. And then I went to get this other fan from backstage, and. Um, they they were like you can't use that it's one of the other acts but like we've been told no one else can use it so i said are they using my stool <laughs> and they went, yeah and i said well josh jones said if they want me stool i'll have the fucking fan the next day they had the i had the fan <laughs> and i was buzzing with myself <laughs> and it's such a small little drama but i'll be like mm. and the thing is as well i've seen the person walking about but i don't even know if it was them or, or the their production, production who said yeah. they couldn't so like I'm not slagging them because they might not know, but it's like don't be a dickhead. Let everyone use your fan. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's so funny though. You saying about small things blown out of proportion. Yeah. The energy and the the vileness you called me about that fan. Oh, I, I were I, like, I'm not allowed their fan, <laughs> <laughs> and they're using my stool. I was really angry. Yeah, I've heard, uh, people have told me they've been cheated on with less venom. <laughs> 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 oh, you won't believe what he's done. But I, oh, well, I know exactly what you mean. My fucking stool. <laughs> I don't think it was them, though. I think it was the yeah. production team because the production team bought the fan. So I don't think it was a comedian. So I shouldn't really be slagging him off. But I, well, I'm not slagging him off. I don't no. know if I said the name. But like, I am. Um, but yeah, but I did <laughs> ring you that day as soon as I got out of the venue. I was like, Guess who's been using my fan and my <laughs> stool and I'm not allowed their fan. <laughs> Living about this. <laughs> I, 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 I got the fan. And just, so, so just like in camaraderie, you sort of just go, that's so fucking typical of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, yeah, but it was such a small drama. Yeah. But because we're in that little bubble and you can't leave, it feels, everything just mentally feels so intense. Yeah. yeah. Really. Well, I think that's coming to the end of the podcast, episode 12. It's yeah. been a really fun one. Josh, have you got things to plug? I'm going to plug my po- tour date on the next episode. Okay, cool. Anything else? Um, No. <laughs> 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 nah, just you know, standards. Yeah, cool. Yeah, just look us all up on social media. Oh, also, yeah. get in touch with the podcast at chattingwithcherubs at gmail.com. Um, just Josh is going on. Oh, talk. someone told me the email that, and I said I don't check the email. Oh, I'll double check the yeah, emails. There we go. That but was about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, get in touch. Follow us on all social media. Josh, is, Josh will be going on tour later in the year. I myself might be going on tour later in the year. Um, come and see me if you can at Buy Pride this Saturday in London. That will be uh, Saturday the 3rd of September. But otherwise, it'll be on to next week. Yeah. See you next week, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, Phoebe.